Hello viewers. Welcome to the legendary muscles. In the realm of classic strength training, few combinations stand as iconic and effective as the old school squat paired with a dedicated milk consumption regimen. This timeless duo has been revered for decades, with its roots tracing back to the golden era of bodybuilding and powerlifting. The squat, foundation of strength. The squat, often hailed as the king of all exercises, is a fundamental compound movement that engages multiple muscle groups simultaneously. Primarily targeting the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and core, the squat builds functional strength and enhances overall athleticism. Its simplicity lies in the act of bearing load and driving upward against resistance, mimicking everyday movements like sitting and standing. What sets the old-school squat apart is its focus on raw, foundational strength. Lifters would often perform high-volume squat routines, emphasizing heavy weights with lower repetitions to build sheer power and muscle mass. This dedication to perfecting form and mastering the movement laid the groundwork for strength gains that transcended the gym. The Milk Program, Fuel for Growth Accompanying this rigorous squat routine was the Milk Program, a dietary staple aimed at maximizing muscle growth and recovery. Milk, revered for its high-quality protein content, served as a convenient and accessible source of nourishment for aspiring strength athletes. The Milk Program typically involved consuming copious amounts of whole milk throughout the day, particularly post-workout. Its blend of protein, carbohydrates, and fats offered a well-rounded source of nutrition, aiding in muscle repair and growth. The belief in its anabolic properties and ability to support strength gains made it a go-to dietary addition for many in the fitness community. You've probably heard of the squats and milk program. It's been around for over 50 years and is a very effective approach to packing on muscle mass. On squats and milk, you train three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, performing a 20-rep squat set, immediately followed by a lightweight set of barbell pullovers. The point of the pullovers is to stretch the rib cage. One of the hidden keys to the success of this program is progression of weight. Squats and Milk recommends that you increase the weight you use for your 20-rep squat set by 5 pounds every time you hit the gym. That's a 60-pound weight jump each month. This is the primary reason why this program works so effectively. The program also advocates eating as much as possible, as often as possible. And to wash down the food, it's recommended that you drink a gallon of whole milk, not skim, 1% or 2%, per day. On the surface, it appears that milk is the driving force behind the weight you will be gaining on this program. In actuality, overall caloric intake is a greater indicator of how successful this program will be for you. Eat more, grow more. But the whole milk plays a vital role. It adds liquid calories, and lots of them. A gallon of whole milk contains 1,920 calories. This virtually ensures that you will be eating a minimum of 4,000 calories per day, which is a great start for heart gainers. It's time for a change. The Squats and Milk program has rarely been modernized or updated. We want to do just that and give you a program that will turn you from skinny and weak to strong and brawny in no time. We've added in several core, heavy compound exercises and removed some old school elements such as barbell pullovers. You will be working out three times a week, full body style. We have kept the focus on squats but dropped their frequency to twice a week in order to make room for deadlifts. Call this blasphemous if you will, but we call it a needed change. This program is not for the faint of heart, nor is it for those who fear adding on a few extra pounds of fat. It's time to grow, so let's go. The New School Squats and Milk Routine Monday 20 Rep Squats Bench Press, 3 Sets of 5 Reps Barbell Rows or Yates Rows, 3 Sets of 5 Reps Seated overhead dumbbell or barbell press, 2 sets of 6 to 10 reps. Romanian deadlifts, 2 sets of 6 to 10 reps. Wednesday. Deadlifts, 10 singles. Close grip bench press, 3 sets of 6 to 10 reps. Dumbbell or barbell curls, 3 sets of 6 to 10 reps. Ab work, 2 to 3 sets. Friday. 20 rep squats. Dips, 3 sets of 6 to 10 reps. 
pull-ups or negative pull-ups, three sets of six to 10 reps. Upright rows, two sets of six to 10 reps. Standing or seated calf raises, two sets of 10 to 25 reps. Program overview and notes. The new school squats and milk program has a basic structure. On Monday and Friday, you will be performing a 20 rep set of squats, along with a chest, back and shoulder exercise. In addition, on Monday you will be hitting your hamstrings, and on Friday, your calves. Wednesday has you performing deadlift single reps of work and focusing on arms. You perform slightly fewer sets on this day, so it can be considered a lighter training day. 20 rep squat sets. It may take a while to work up to a 20 rep set. Try improving by at least one rep per workout. When you can hit 20 reps, it's time to start upping the weight. Add five pounds to the bar each time you perform a 20 rep set. This will add 40 pounds to your squat each month. Deadlifts. Deadlifts are performed as single reps pick a weight and perform five singles, resting about 30 seconds between reps next time you work out, perform six reps with the same weight. Keep increasing the number of singles you perform each workout by one, until you hit a total of 10 total singles. After you hit 10 single reps, it's time to jump up in weight. The next time you deadlift, add 10 pounds to the bar and knock out five reps, continue the pattern of moving up one rep each week. Bench press and rows. When you can perform three sets of five reps with a given weight, add five pounds to the bar the next time around. General progression. For exercises in the six to 10 rep range, push for progression of reps, then weight. When you can perform all sets with a minimum of six reps per set, move up in weight. Milk. Drink a minimum of six larges glasses of whole milk per day. If you can stomach one gallon of whole milk per day, then drink it. If you need extra calories, or if milk gives you stomach issues, snack on almonds during the day and purchase a quality weight gainer. Food. Eat all day long, but make sure you are not stuffed when you work out. After you work out, eat a monster meal. Aim for a minimum of 4,000 calories per day. For some hard gainers, 4,000 will not be enough. If this is the case for you, add 500 calories per day each week, until the scale starts moving. Fat gain. Don't fear fat gain. During bulks, a good portion of the weight gain is muscle. If you gain 25 pounds, and 15 pounds of that is muscle, rejoice. You only have 10 pounds of fat to cut, and that can be done in no time. Muscle gains last a lifetime, fat gains are quickly lost. A squats and milk program is an awesome way to pack on weight, muscle, and strength in a short amount of time. Whether you need to bulk up for the football team, or you're tired of spinning your wheels in the weight room, this program is a must try. If you find this video helpful, give it a like. Kindly share the video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting content in the future. Stay hydrated and stay motivated. We will be back to you soon. Be legendary.